Okay, when trying to match um, graphs of functions to their corresponding equations, uh, sometimes it's nice to try to plug in some points, and that can at least you know help you eliminate some options. <clears throat> so, um, one nice point on this first graph that we see, and you got pi over four, and then there's a hash mark, and then three pi over four. So this must be two pi over four here, or in other words. You know, pi over 2. So at x equals pi over 2 in this first graph, we're at the y coordinate 1. So whatever graph that we're looking at up there, we should be able to plug in pi over 2 in for x and then get 1 out for y. So we'll be able to eliminate some options here by trying that out. Okay, so with the first one, if you try y equals cosecant pi over 2. I don't blame you if you don't know what cosecant pi over 2 is right off the top of the head. So what you could do is rewrite it using the fact that it's, the re it's a reciprocal of sine. And now sine and cosine are values on the trigonomic circle. Okay, Pi over 2, if you convert that to degrees, that's 90 degrees. So you can check out a video if you're not sure how to convert from radians to degrees. Uh, but pi over 2 lands us here. And now cosine is the x-coordinate of whatever angle you make. Sine is the y-coordinate. So y equals 1 over 1. That gives us 1. So this one, uh, this graph, has uh, y equals cosecant x as an option. Okay. Um, we'd also probably want to just check another one to be sure. Or one thing you could do to be really sure is y equals cosecant x. You can use like a graphing program online, like Desmos. And if you type y equals cosecant x into Desmos, uh, let's see, so that's that should be repeating itself at 3 pi over 2, which it is. Okay, so this is cosecant x. And again, we got that from testing a point. You know, we got lucky. We plugged in pi over 2 because we saw in the graph if you plug in x equals pi over 2, it should spit out 1 for y. But you can also do it by using one of these graphing calculators. So let's check. do the same thing for this one. Uh, this graph, if you plug in, uh, if you plug in x equals 0, right on the y-axis, if you plug in 0 in for x, it should get out 2 for y. Okay? So let's see which graph might make that happen. Um, we could try plugging in, you know, we've already ruled out cosecant x. We could try plugging in 0 in for tangent. But one way to rule tangent out is the graph of tangent, which would look something like this. Okay? It doesn't make these u's and upside down u shapes like we're seeing over here. So we can save ourselves some time and realize, realize it's not tangent. Uh, so let's check y equals 2 secant x. If this is the right graph, then I should be able to plug in 0 in for x. And again, that's a, that's a reciprocal trig function, so that's cosine and then 0 over 2. That just simplifies to be 0, right? 0 divided by 2 in your calculator gives you 0. So if you try cosine 0, 0 degrees or 0 radians, that's here. On, uh, it's the point 1, 0. And like we said, cosine is the x-coordinate and sine is the y-coordinate. So this is our cosine. So this does give us 2. So just a quick recap, we plugged in 0 and for x into this equation, and we got out 2. So this is a possible uh, option for this answer. You'd want to go check the other ones just to be sure, or check it with a graph and calculator. So we got y equals 2 secant x over 2. Oops, we want just x being divided by 2. Okay, so there it is. It's crossing at 0, comma 2, just like it's supposed to. Let's just check out another point in this graph. Um, if we go to now 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, so this is 4 pi over 4 here, or in other words, just pi. If we go to, if we plug in pi, we should get out negative 2. So if we go here, oh, that's actually 2 pi, right? We get out negative 2. Let me just double check with these. Yeah, this one, this graph repeats itself. Uh, it, it makes the other u at pi, because that would be 4 pi over 4. So that one was close, but it's not, the, not quite the right match. We can rule out y equals 2 secant x over 2. It worked for one point, but it didn't work for every point. Okay, so let's try one of the other ones. Um, let's try y equals 2 secant x. OK, 
Okay, because we had good luck with Seacat last time. Remember, if this equation y equals 2 secant x, and I picked this one because it's got a 2 in it, right? We saw the amplitude is 2. Um, so I picked this, picked this equation because we're supposed to be able to plug in 0 in for x and get out 2 for y. And again, secant is 1 over cosine. And we just said cosine of 0 is 1. So this is y equals 2. So this one this, this one's looking like a better match. And again, just check it with Desmos to make sure. Check out another point, okay? Y equals 2 secant x. So it looks like this. So that checks out, and then there it is at pi. We've got negative 2. Okay, and then we said tangent has this type of fun, uh, this type of graph. Tangent and actually cotangent, too. They're doing the, they make the same kind of wave graph. Um, so we know this one has to be either this tangent x plus pi over 4, the, the negative cotangent x, or the tangent x. So let's just start with tangent x plus pi over 4. You could use the point plugging in method. So we could do tangent. So we got x plus pi. You can just type in pi in Desmos. And so if we check out the graph, um, they, they showed us there's a horizontal asymptote. Now this is pi over 2. And then this is pi, then this, this must be 3 pi over 4. So at 1 pi over 4, we're supposed to have a, a vertical asymptote. I think I said horizontal earlier. A vertical asymptote. And pi over 4, it's tough to tell. You could, uh, you could plug in pi over 4 to test out the point, too. This looks pretty close. Uh, let's check something more concrete, I guess. So this is uh, negative pi over 4, right? Because if this is negative pi over 2 here, this is going to be negative pi over 4. It keeps going by 4. So to click this, negative pi, negative pi over 4 is 0. Checks out. And then check this out here. If this is pi over 4. This is 2 pi over 4. In other words, pi over 2. This is 3 pi over 4, and this is 4 pi over 4. All right, so at 3 pi over 4, we should be crossing the x-axis again. And this graph does. So we just found by using Desmos and checking out a few points, tangent x plus pi over 4 is our solution. Okay, so definitely encourage doing both, you know, check, trying out some points because it helps us understand the trig a little bit better, but then checking yourself with Desmos saves you some time.